time now for the latest in local sports. We begin with high school football Friday night as both Haplin County and Pierce County have advanced to the Final Four. They're one one away from a rematch, which would be for the state championship. Pierce won the regular season meeting and are region champions and defending state champions. They won Friday night at home over Peach County 35-30. They now host Carver of Atlanta, who beat Burke County 46-14 to advance to the semifinal game. Appling, meanwhile, have been road warriors on the road this past Friday night, knocking off previously unbeaten Thompson. The final score, 21-7. First-year head coach Jordan Mullis sets history in Appling County. Only first-year coach ever to lead his football team to the semifinals in Appling County. Appling has, reached, has a rich football history. Appling on the road, again, having to take on Cedar Grove, a team loaded with Division I signees. Tough games this weekend for both Pierce and Appling, but if they win, they'll advance to the state championship game in Atlanta. In 5A, defending state champ Warner Robins looking to repeat, beat Jones County 49-21. They now play Creekside, who beat Whitewater 20-13. Other semifinal matchup in 5A will be between Blessed Trinity and Calhoun. In 7A, the final four games will be Walton against Milton, Grayson against Collins Hill. In 6A, is Dakula against Hughes and Buford against Carrollton. In 4A, BC beat Maris 24-21 to advance to the final four. They'll play North Oconee. Other matchup is Carver of Columbus against Cedar Town. In double A, it's Fitzgerald against Swainsburg, Thomasville against Callaway. In single A, Metter still playing. They take on Brooks County, while Irwin plays Wilcox County. In single A, Private Eagles Landing Christian takes on Trinity Christian, and Prince Avenue Christian takes on Fellowship Christian. Again, the semifinals are set for this Friday. State championship game is the following weekend. More shakeup in college football over the weekend as one thing remains the same. That's the number one team in the state or in the nation. That's the Georgia Bulldogs. As they keep rolling, dogs beat up on Tech 45 zip. Quarterback Stetson Bennett, another fine performance. Four touchdown passes on the day as he continues to be the starter despite all those national naysayers and still question his ability to lead the team to the promised land. On Saturday, he went 14 and 20 for 225 and four scores. Dogs are 12 and 0 for the first time since their national championship season back in 1980. Their best receiver, George Pickens, has finally gotten healthy. It's ready to contribute in a big way. Defense continues to shut down opponents. Dogs meet Alabama Saturday in the SEC Championship game. Kickoff set for 4 p.m. this Saturday in Atlanta. Alabama survived Saturday in a four-overtime game against Auburn. They beat the Tigers 24-22, come into the game at 11-1. They know if they beat the Dogs, they'll clinch a playoff spot. Dogs most certain to finish in the top four, even if with a loss on Saturday. But Georgia favored to win, and Dogs and Kirby have waited all season for the rematch shot against the Tide. Won the national championship game two years back with the Dogs leading up until the end when to a tug of low hit Devontae Smith for the game winner at the end of the game. Again, it's Bama and Georgia Saturday in the SEC championship game. Again, all takes place this Saturday in Atlanta. Georgia Southern season came to close Saturday. They lost to App State 27-3. They finished the season at 3-9. and Michigan in the Big Ten championship game. Saturday, as they defeat Ohio State, Jim Harbaugh beats Ohio State for the first time in his career. Final score, 47, or 42-27. Michigan will play Iowa Saturday in the Big Ten championship game. Wake Forest beat Boston College 41-10. It's the Demon Deacons and Pitt in the ACC title game. Other scores on Saturday at Ogeron wins his final game as LSU's head coach. They beat Texas A&M 27-24. Says he will not coach the bowl game. Oklahoma State over Oklahoma, 37-33. They'll play Baylor in the Big 12 championship. Clemson shuts out South Carolina, 30 to zip. Notre Dame finishes at 11-1. They beat Stanford, 45-14. Michigan State over Penn State, 30-27. Kentucky rolled over Louisville, 52-21. Florida beat FSU. NCAA unveils the playoff picture Tuesday night. Georgia will be one. Then it's interesting where Bama will remain in the top four. Michigan most likely to move into the top four. Cincinnati most likely to remain in the top four. Playoff picture is set after championship weekend. This weekend, again, teams like Notre Dame, Oklahoma State, pulling for Georgia to knock Bama out. The Tide will not get in with two losses on the season. The buildup and hype already underway. Again, Saban against Smart. Once again, Kirby looking for the first win against his former mentor, Nick Saban. In the NFL Sunday, Jacksonville hosted Atlanta. Falcons win 21-14. Other scores, New England keeps winning. They beat the Titans 36-13. Tampa Bay over Indy 38-31. Cincy whipped up on Pittsburgh 41-10. Giants over the Eagles 13-7. Miami over Carolina 33-10. Jets beat the Texans 21-14.
Denver over the Chargers 28-13, Packers over the Rams 36-28, Niners over the Vikings 34-26, Ravens over the Browns last night 16-10, tonight Monday Night Football with Seattle and Washington. Wayne County Varsity basketball team is back at home Tuesday night with a non-region opponent, Glen Academy. Girls game begins at 6, boys game at 7.30. The team's at home Friday as well, hosting Long County this past Tuesday evening before the Thanksgiving holiday. Varsity boys beat Pierce 55-38. Jackets had four players in double figures. Varsity girls game went to Pierce 34-26. Again, both teams in action tomorrow night at home against Glen Academy, Friday night at home against Long County. Lincoln Riley's leaving Oklahoma. He'll now be the new coach at Southern Cal. Byron Buxton, the Appling County grad, just signed a nice $100 million extension over the weekend with the Minnesota Twins. Keeps him there for the next seven years. Contract full of bonus incentives, $8 million if he wins the MVP, $7 million if he finishes second, six for third. He's scheduled to become a free agent after the 2022 season. Has been with the Twins since being a first-round pick out of high school. For his career, he has a 248 average, 70 home runs, 204 RBIs. This season, he hit 306 with 19 home runs, but was limited to 69 games because of injuries. In 2017, he played in 140 games and won a gold glove. And Byron Buxton signs a seven-year, $100 million extension with the Minnesota Twins. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.